Hello again, and we're going to have a game of Afterburner for the Commodore 64, and yes, the classic arcade game, which was hard as fuck, I remember. Um, well, this still is as hard as fuck. Um, <laughs> um, I've reviewed this for the Amstrad, I used to run it for the Amstrad, um, played it on the Amstrad before I played it on the Commodore 64, so we fucking die. Um, I have to say, the, app, the Amstrad CPC version I thought was better. It's nicer, cleaner graphics. This one looks a bit too blocky when you fire. If you see when you fire, you see the really is. You can see it blocking up. And I don't know. I thought the Amstrad version looked nicer, played a bit nicer. Activision really doing a good job of the Amstrad version. Luckily they didn't give it to a US goal because otherwise they would have fucked it up and made the Commodore 64 version even better. Um, maybe US Gold should have done the Commodore 64 version, but let's say a bad guy. Let's say I'm not taking anything away from this version, but you know, usually the Commodore 64 versions made by US Gold are pretty decent games. So this ain't a too bad game, so a little bit blocky as you see, you see little blocks when you fire missiles. Um, ah, we're off the first level, isn't that amazing? Talking away, I won't even concentrate. Oh god, it's loading. Hope this don't take too long. Oh, ah, excellent. Didn't take that long at all. Brilliant. So we're on the second level. Um, fires pretty nicely. I mean, this was a bastard in the arcade. This game was. I don't know how many 50p's, 20p's I lost in that machine trying to play. What's that on my arsehole? Oh, fucking yes. Here we go. Do that twist. That flip the plane round. You lose the missile. That's about to the rear end you. Oh, another one's coming. Come on. Yeah. You do your flip. And it fucks off. It gets confused. And flies away. Um, does it? Oh no, there's another one. He's come back. Fuck off. There we go. So, yeah. I liked it in the arcade, but apart from it being a bastard to play, oh, I was fuck off. Where did you really get these bastards? Oh, blew us up. Shit. So we get a few laughs. I think we get about five lives in the game. Um, I think if you get over a certain score, you get extra lives. Pretty generous. Because you need all your fucking lives. You go, oh, fuck off. Bastard. So uh, yeah, you need all, every life you can get because this is a hard game. Um, I used to like it in the arcade with the cabinet. Oh, we got off the level, wasn't that nice? Oh, wait for it to load up again. Well, oh, hopefully it won't take that long. It was like the last time. It didn't take that long to load. And yes, good. Oh, it's loaded. So counting down, so hits. Oh, we've got quite a lot of hits. So. Adds to our score, and we get another life, isn't that nice? And um, get refueled with missiles. With the guns, they fire automatically, so you don't have to worry about firing the gun. It's just the missile. Um, when you lock on, you see it down the bottom, you're locked on, and you can fire away and hit the planes. You can see the crosshair in the foreground, so you know you've got a lock on there. Don't waste any missiles. Um, music's pretty decent in this game, you expect from the sound interface device known as the SID chip. Um, <laughs> yeah, Commodore 64's has always had a good, always, I think the majority of the music in the games yeah, always had a decent soundtrack. That's with Die. Really, really good, the sound chip and uh, the SID chip on the Commodore 64. Um, uh, I think, you, yeah, you do get the options of um, music or sound effects. can't remember the sound effects in this. Um, I think with the Amstrad version, you only got sound effects. You didn't have no music. Ah, uh, bollocks as we die. Um, as I say, I've done a review on that. But I did honestly think the Amstrad was better. A better version. Just played nicer. But anyway, I'm not going to keep on about it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, so we're off the level, this level, Ooh, we're doing pretty well. We haven't played this for such a long time. As I think we're on the fourth level, I've lost count. 
I oh, didn't get so many hits this time. Let's fire. Here we go. Um, oh, blasty fucker! Didn't even, weren't even ready for that. There we go again. So if you push your space bar, you can actually make the plane go faster or slower. Push it uh, twice, I think. You, rip, you, rip, you use the afterburner. Oh, well, it's called afterburner because you fucking hardly use it. <laughs> so we're flying an F-14 Tomcat. If you didn't know that, but you do now. <laughs> Um, yeah, as I say, it's really some sort of real bastard in the arcade. Ah, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I think that's game over. Ain't got no more lives left. Yep, game over. That was interesting. It wasn't, as I say, it wasn't a bad go. It wasn't a bad game for the Commodore 64. It was pretty playable, but it's just those blocky, blocky bits when the missiles fire. And the front, frame rate ain't brilliant but I'm not I can overlook that um, and we get to enter our name in the old traditional horrible arcade style that I totally hate because I'd rather type it knowing that you've got a keyboard right in front of you but no they insist on fucking doing it the joystick well Jonah I oh, fucked that up didn't I that's it here we go yeah Okay for the Commodore 64, better on the Amstrad I thought, as we're going to read the review here. Thank you for watching, till next time, and goodbye.